One of this year's biggest denim trends is ivory denim. So I wanted to bring you a video on how to style ivory denim jeans because I felt like they were not as easy to style as your regular jeans or your white jeans. I think you have to think about colors a little bit more that you, when you're pairing things with them and really think about your accessories with them. And you'll see as we go through some of these in this video. So if you're new around here, my name is Jamie. Welcome to my channel. Please give this video a thumbs up if you love it and also hit that subscribe button so you can help my channel grow and also the little bell so you can get notifications so you don't miss any of my content. So the jeans you're going to see in this video are a slim straight leg jean, which I think is great for all body shapes. And I will put all of the information about the jeans in the description below, and I'll provide you links for the jeans and any of the other items in this video that you might be interested in. So you're going to see a lot of outfits in this video, but I'm going to concentrate mainly on colors. So you can kind of see which colors are working really well, which ones are just okay, and which ones just don't work at all. So the first thing I wanna talk about are whites with your ivory down. Denim because sometimes the whites can make the ivory look really yellow depending on what your ivory looks like. Some will be lighter, some will be darker. You just never know. The ones I have on are called canvas, so they do go a little bit more towards the yellow tones. So I wanted to show you my favorite white blouse tucked into these jeans. I didn't add a belt. I didn't do anything but put shoes on with this, and I really think that this does not look very good. I don't think there's anything bringing these colors together because I think that's really what you would need to do here. So instead of just putting on a white t-shirt with your jeans and putting on sneakers, I really think you have to think about your whites and create an outfit with it. So what I did is I added a belt and then I added a bag that coordinated with it and some good shoes that coordinated and it just brought everything together. And I think the belt provides a little bit of separation from the top and the bottom. So the first belt I did, you're seeing as a raffia belt, which is kind of in the same ivory tones, but it has a lot of texture and I think it kind of draws your eye to it. So you really don't notice anything weird. I think it just brings it all together. And then I wanted to swap out the accessories for more of brown tone accessories because I think the browns go really well here with the ivory and the whites. And I think it still looks very much geared towards spring, even though we're in these neutrals that might be a little bit more fall-ish like the brown but brown is really popular right now just like ivory so i thought i would put this together and i thought it looked really good but as you can see i think this actually made the white shirt work a little bit better because of the accessories and you kind of brought it all together and you created more of a cohesive look as opposed to just throwing on your pieces so you can see that it does take a little bit of work but not a whole lot and you know what if you are not a belt person, then you could find a white top that maybe had some ivory mixed in with it and some other colors and create a look with something like that. Use more of a print that brings all of those colors together as opposed to your accessories. So if you wanna create a monochromatic look with your ivory, I don't think it's impossible, but I do think you have to get really lucky with your pieces. And if the pieces are not exactly matching and you mix maybe a tan color or a beige color in with them, it looks really good. And that's what I did with mine. So I have an ivory denim jacket that was very close to the ivory jeans. I think it's just a tad lighter. And then I put just a tan t-shirt underneath it. And I think the way I styled the outfit, it became a really fun monochromatic look. So just think about some of the colors you have that are neutral that can mix in with the ivories and create a fun monochromatic look this way. One of my favorite combinations is black and ivory, but I do think if you wear a black top and ivory bottoms that it can be too much of a heavy contrast. So I have three options here that I thought were really good and some of them are pretty casual. So the first one is a black striped sweater with a cream background and I thought this went really well and I did incorporate black shoes back into this outfit and a black bag and some black earrings just to kind of coordinate black with all the cream that I had on and I really loved this combination. The next combination was just a black tank top with the jeans and I put the ivory jacket over it that you saw earlier and I thought this was a very classic look without being too heavy contrast, especially for spring and summer. I really like outfits to be a little bit lightened up so the third outfit is a very casual outfit. I wanted to include some really casual outfits in here. And this one is just with an ivory t-shirt that has a black graphic on the front of it. And I did add the black belt into this because I thought it 
needed the black to be brought in a little bit more. And I added just a really cute black flat sandal, a black crossbody bag, my chain necklace, and some earrings because I really thought, even though this is a really casual outfit, if I had just thrown on the t-shirt and the jeans, it would have looked really blah. And I don't normally wear a belt with my t-shirt and jeans, but I really thought this one needed it. And I thought this is where it showed a really good combination of adding those accessories can really create more of a cohesive look as opposed to you just threw something on and <laughs> walked out the door. You actually really thought about the outfit and tried to make it look good. So if you don't love black, you would probably love navy with ivory. And so I put my navy blazer with a couple of different outfits. The first one was a little bit of a monochromatic outfit, but it did have some really cute color on the sweater in a print and it was a really light spring sweater so this is a great transitional outfit if you have not seen my last video about transitional spring outfits then you should check that out i'll link it here and in the description below but this is just a fun way if you want to dress them up for maybe a luncheon or for work if you are allowed to wear jeans to work, but maybe a little bit dressier jeans, I think this is a good way to go. But you can also make it a little bit more smart casual and have fun with it by putting just a t-shirt underneath it like I did here with a tan t-shirt. And both of these outfits have heels with them, but with this one, you could probably do a cute little flat or maybe even a sneaker if you wanted to. I went with the heels because I wanted to create just a little bit of a updated look. The next outfit is my absolute favorite, and I wanted to put this together for you because this top's main color is ivory, and I thought it went really well with the ivory jeans. So I took this really cute Cezanne blouse, which has this beautiful navy embroidery on on it paired it with the ivory jeans and my nude heels with my navy bag and I actually put a belt on that is ivory that kind of blends in a little bit but I thought it needed it without the belt I felt like it just really needed a little something and I wish I had a navy belt but I have not been able to find one I looked and just no luck on that so I grabbed what I have which is a cute little ivory belt and I thought this created a really fun look for later on in the spring when it gets a little bit warmer one of my personal favorite colors to wear with my ivory denim is green. And I have a few different green options for you and they're all three different greens. And the first one I wanted to show you is very, very casual because I felt like I needed to throw in another sneaker outfit here. And it's with my favorite green denim vest. And I just put it over the tan t-shirt with the ivory denim, threw on my cream and tan sneakers, and I just thought this was such a fun everyday look. And then I tried my Kelly Green t-shirt that I got from Loft last year, and I thought this was beautiful with it as well. And I did put a heel on with this because I just wanted to create a little bit more of a smart casual look because I felt like this t-shirt was a little bit more dressed up. I don't feel great in this t-shirt when I make it really casual with sneakers, so I thought I needed to dress it up just a tad bit and I thought this was a really fun combination and you can see here that I did not add a belt to this because I thought there was enough contrast between the top and the jeans that I really did not need the belt so this next outfit is one of my favorites and it's taking just a lighter green pretty top that has some other colors in it and it paired really well with the ivory denim and I thought this was such an easy combination that didn't take a whole lot of thought and then I just added some nude short heels with this and a fun bag to bring the whole look together so there are some really bold colors other than green that I love with ivory and one of them is red which there is a lot of red and ivory florals that I have seen here lately I'll pop up some pictures if you want to take a look I don't have any red in my wardrobe I don't wear it at all because of my red hair but I do wear a lot of pinks and I think pink is really good with ivory denim as well I love bold pink and then I actually loved really light pink so the bold pink I want to show you is a top that I have this is from the fall so I had this in my transitional video as well but I think the burgundies and the bright or the darker pinks here look really good with the ivory and then I was not sure if light pink would go really well but if you kind of want a softer look I thought lighter baby pink went really well so I put 
put this cardigan with them. And I mean, I was kind of on the fence, but then when I had it on, I felt really good in it. So I think it just depends on kind of where you go with your colors and you have to try them on with the denim that you have. So some colors are going to make it look a little more yellow and some colors are just going to blend so well that you don't really notice you have ivory denim on. So I think it's just going to depend on what look you are going for. I also wanted to show you a shade of purple, so I wanted to show you the outfit I have on because this is a little bit of a weird shade of purple, but I think lavenders and colors like this are very popular this season. So I wanted to show you that I think it goes pretty well. It does make the jeans look a little bit more yellow than some of the other colors, but it really didn't bother me because this top has a little bit of a brightness to it. And I did stay very neutral in the shoes. I would have loved to have had an espadrille with this but I don't have one that's I need to put that on my list to get this season but that would have made it look even better in my mind so I did pair a lot of solid colors in this video with the ivory denim because I wanted you to see what they did to the color of the denim and I do have a lot of solids and I think solids are a lot harder to style so if you have some pretty prints that have you know just all kinds of colors to them and no ivory or white in them I'm sure they're going to go great but if you can find some prints that have an ivory background they're going to look awesome as well so as far as shoes go, I really wanted to mention that I think it's good to contrast if you have a darker color on top, say you're wearing black like I did in the video and I put a black shoe on, I think that's absolutely fine. I think it actually looks a little bit better to bring the color back through the shoes. But if you're wearing bright colors or pastels, I think you can do an ivory or a nude shoe and they're going to look perfect. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed these outfits. Please let me know in the comments below. If you have time, please give this video a thumbs up if you loved it and also hit that subscribe and the little bell to get notifications. Love your neighbor, be kind, and I'll talk to you next time.